Plant Breeding for Disease Resistance One of the major problems for agriculture are pathogens and disease-causing agents. Almost 5 to 15% loss in the crop yield is due to plant diseases caused by a wide range of fungal, bacterial and viral pathogens. An epidemic form of a pathogen can even destroy the entire crop. Let us look at few pathogens that cause diseases in food crops. First, let us discuss about some fungal diseases. Fungi are the primary cause of disease in crops. A fungus called Puccinia triticina causes a disease called brown rust in cereal crops like wheat, barley, rye, etc. The disease affects stems, leaves and grains of the plant leading to tremendous loss in the crop yield. Another fungus called Glomerella tucumanicis causes a disease called red rot in sugarcane. This disease mainly affects the stem and considerably reduces the quantity and quality of juice. Another fungus called Phytophthora infestans causes a disease in potato called late rot. It is the most deadly disease of potato crop. Let us now discuss few bacterial diseases. A bacterium called Xanthomonas campestri causes a disease called black rot in crucifers. Crucifers are leafy vegetables like cabbages, garden cress, broccoli, etc. The disease looks like a yellow-brown patch on the leaves which slowly spreads to other parts like veins, roots and stems as time passes. Viruses also cause diseases in plants. Let us now discuss about some viral diseases in plants. A virus called tobacco mosaic virus causes a disease called tobacco mosaic in tobacco and other plants. The disease forms white and black or sometimes yellow and green patterns on the leaves which looks like a mosaic. This causes malfunction of leaves and other growing parts. Another virus called turnip mosaic virus causes a disease called turnip mosaic in cruciferous plants. This disease forms pale colored ulcers on the leaves which stunts the growth of the plant. There are a number of factors that are responsible for the development of diseases in plants. Some of these factors are host genotype, pathogen genotype and the environment. Some of the pathogen genotype is even capable of developing newer and newer strains every time. Therefore, it is very important to incorporate the trait for disease resistance in breeding programs. Resistance of the host plant is its genetic ability to prevent the pathogens causing the disease. If the plants have disease resistance, it would reduce the use of chemicals like fungicides, bactericides, which can cause toxicity, thereby increasing the farmer's profits. There are different breeding methods for incorporating disease resistance. Let us first discuss the conventional method. First, we screen the germplasm for the source of resistance. Then we carry out artificial hybridization of the high-yielding crop varieties with these disease-resistant varieties. The progenies are selected and evaluated for high yield, disease resistance, quality and other features. At last, the progeny are tested and released as new varieties. Here are some of the disease resistant crop varieties bred by hybridization and selection. Hingiri is a variety of wheat bred to show resistance to fungal diseases like leaf and stripe rust and also hill bunt. Pusaswarnim, also called as Karan Rai, is a variety of brassica bred to show resistance to white rust disease. Pusa Shubra is a variety of cauliflower bred to show resistance to black rot and curl blight black rot. Pusa Komal is a variety of cow pea bred to show resistance to bacterial blight. Pusa Sadabahar is a variety of chili bread 
to show resistance to chili mosaic virus, tobacco mosaic virus and leaf curl. Adding disease resistance by this method is subjected to many limitations. In this method, we can add disease resistance only if the disease resistance allele is present in the germ plasm. Generally, there will be only limited number of disease resistant genes in the germ plasm. Due to this, the plant will show resistance to only few number of diseases. Genetic Engineering Due to the improvement in genetic engineering, we were able to overcome the limitations of conventional breeding. Genetic engineering allows us to incorporate resistance genes from unrelated species into the plant genome. For example, a resistance gene Rx01 from maize plant was incorporated into rice plant by this method. This gave the rice plant resistance to a bacterial disease called bacterial street disease caused by pathogen called Xanthomonas aurisae. Similarly, numerous other resistance genes can be incorporated into a single plant. Note, by this method, we could incorporate artificial genes as well as genes from microorganisms into plant genome. Mutation breeding Another method of creating disease resistance is mutational breeding. Here, we use chemicals and gamma radiations to induce targeted mutations in the selected plants. This sometimes creates desired characters which are not found in the parent plant. Since these changes are heritable, the plants with desired characters are then selected and used as a source in breeding of new plants. This type of breeding is known as mutation breeding. For example, in mung bean, resistance to yellow mosaic virus and powdery mildew were induced by mutations.